Hi, my name is Tom Sensi. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking a beef bourguignon using grass-fed Irish beef. I'm making the beef bourguignon, but I'm gonna have a little play on it using beef cheeks rather than something like a chuck. Um, the beef cheeks are still quite a, a tough meat, but actually they become super tender when cooked slow, so they're gonna be perfect for the bourguignon. So I'm gonna be using beef cheeks instead of something like a chuck. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, uh, the whole jowl rather than just an oyster, which you can get from your butcher. Uh, we're gonna de sinew it and, and use that for the bourguignon. We're using the Irish beef because it's grass-fed and it just makes the beef so much more mature. So the rest of the ingredients in the bourguignon, we have a red wine, but we're using a burgundy from Bourgogne, which is quite traditional for a beef bourguignon, even though we're doing a little play with the beef cheeks. We've also got some mirepoix, so just your basic shallots, onion, garlic, carrot, and we've got a little bit of brown mushrooms in there too. So now we're gonna take the beef cheeks and we're gonna season them. A little bit of salt, pepper, and flour. The flour's gonna help thicken it as we're cooking it. So we take a, a pan and just a little bit of oil and bring it to a medium heat. In with your beef cheeks and just get a nice color on all sides. See, now the beef cheeks are coloured on all sides and you can start to see the sediment at the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to take the red wine and deglaze the pan. When we're deglazing, we're just taking all that sediment and it just adds flavour to the dish. Now once we've added the red wine, we're going to let that reduce a little bit and let the alcohol cook out. Next, we're going to add our beef stock. And you want enough, it says one litre in the recipe, but every pot is a different size. So you need enough beef stock to at least cover the beef cheeks and a little bit more, so because that's going to reduce while you're cooking it. So once the, the liquid has come to a simmer, we can now add our mirepoix. So just crush the garlic clove and place it inside. A little bit of thyme and just your washed, chopped up mirepoix. You can keep it really chunky because as it's going to cook, you don't want it to fall apart so much. So next we're going to place it into the oven. We want to put a lid on. If you don't have a lid, you can use tin foil. We want to put the bourguignon in for about two hours at 150 degrees Celsius. Every oven is different, so it might need a little bit more. It's ready when they're nice and tender. We braise the bourguignon because it's slow cooking, and this helps release the flavor. And because the, the, the ox cheek itself is really quite tough, you need to break down the proteins over time, and this just helps make it really tender. So now we're going to take it out of the oven once it's ready. You know this by the beef cheeks being really tender and they just fall apart by touch. Uh, let, the, let the bourguignon cool for about 30 minutes just to let that muscle relax a little bit longer and the beef bourguignon cheeks will just slowly soak up some of that liquid that they're sitting in. But now we're ready to serve, we're going to just add some freshly chopped parsley and I'm going to be serving it with mashed potato but obviously you can choose your own choice of garnish too. I love this dish because it's what I call is a one pot wonder. It's great, it's just really rustic and you can just serve it straight from the pot. If not, you can eat from the pot too. So there we have beef cheek bourguignon using grass-fed Irish beef.